Hi. And that's why he's not allowed to give it anymore. Hi. <laughs> it's been a while since you've done that. Done what? Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> just so you know, sometimes the intros are not scripted at all. In fact, ever. Um, <laughs> and I never know what Corpse is going to do next. So, um... Neither do I. So that's, you know... Probably got a better idea than I do. You'd be surprised. I really wouldn't. I've seen you in real life. Nah. Nah. <laughs> anyway, there's a game. I'd forgotten about that. <sighs> Let me introduce you to the food boarders we have at the mansion. Parfait hey, has CDs for eyes. Yes. Yes, she does. It's just the pink hair that gets me. It's just like, could you not? Could Could you do an actual fairy? Yeah, rather than just... You could maybe give a point to this and she'd maybe pass as an elf fish. Yeah. But, yeah, it's kind of, really, that's a fairy, and really, that's a witch, who apparently aren't human, because they're basically all a different fairy, kind of. They're basically light and dark, you know, Celia and Celia and all that. Yeah. But and... not, because it's limp <clears throat> So. Yeah. Parfait beckons the serving girl over. Slaps her on the arse and then gets sued. This is a niece. She has ah, said. Ah, niece. Okay. Was that was that a knowing ah? Uh? No, it's, um, it's the ends. Okay. Ah, she... niece. <laughs> ah, niece. <laughs> this is our niece. There we go. <laughs> she helps out in the margin and does most of the cooking. <clears throat> Not really helping out. That's that's just working. I'm sure you understand why she's working here now. Mm. I believe she deserves an apology. You're going to be waiting a long time. <laughs> oh, voice. Hmm. Oh, no, she's Scouse as well, isn't she? Mr. Laura, yeah. what are you talking about? Don't you wear your sweet little head over it. You don't remember what this ice princess did to you. Huh? I have nothing to apologise for. Calmsiness does not befit a palace maid. I only did what was necessary. She mowed. Yeah, that's, that's, that's Atlas. Well, it's nice to meet you, Princess. I'm a niece Willow. Yeah, that, that's definitely Scouse, yeah. Mm. No, I've, I've, I've lost it. She's suddenly a bit Welsh. She's so, yeah, fuck it, she's Welsh. Wait for you, isn't it? Well, she's obviously going to be a main character it's in this. In the head, isn't she? I hope we get along. Fabulous. Fabulous. Oh God, it? I had to because of stuff with paperwork. I had to phone um, uh, a place that was where I used to live in South Wales. I haven't heard someone say fabulous for so long. <laughs> <laughs> How, did you not crease up laughing? <laughs> um, luckily, I was, I was um, transferred to someone else um, after she said that. <laughs> so <it's kind> of... <laughs> Um, oh, fabulous, isn't it? Really? This is how you're going to start doing good. I don't believe I asked for your opinion. Please, you two. No fighting. Ugh. I hold my tongue as Parfait leads me to the two people whose faces are incredibly familiar. I assume they have them. <clears throat> they are faces I've seen in the palace before. They're not familiar to me. <laughs> no, me neither. This is... This is Dirk Emo Guy and Lady Probably Offensor. Yeah. I was thinking, like, Cowboy Girl. Of some yeah. description. Vaguely. Painted this on cool This is Jurian Valente and Garland Belrot. <laughs> no. Okay. That's what I was literally responding to. Yes, that's the noise for every dot, dot, dot in this game. Yes. <laughs> that's the, that's official now. We're going to have to do... Eh! Yeah. Every yeah. Time How that's... did you know? Uh... Yeah. How did you know? Do Both that of you instead. were in the order of the caldera. Yes, you were... Stand well... in a bowl of fire. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's caldera, but, you know, fuck yeah. it, it's close enough. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because this, this game doesn't take liberties with spelling. No. That that's right. Generic foreign, fuck it. 
They were two of Sir Alcaster's best nights. It was a big surprise when they both left a year ago. Yeah, they definitely look like they definitely both look like Kinnigits. Yep, Kinnigits. I only found out recently that it was because they acted against Sir Alcaster's orders. They were stripped of their titles and dishonorably discharged from service. Fear a cannon. Fear a cannon. What are you two doing here? <laughs> <laughs> we help the fairies. Oh, and. Uh, the- Information. Never mind. They and Anissa are exceptions and are allowed in this tavern without the curse. Well, you... my screen hasn't updated. <laughs> Hooray! Hey! We're pausing oh, then. There we go. There we go. There Jur- we are. Jurian and Garland lend us their strength to help protect the Martian. Against what? Uh, meteorites, I'm imagining. Yeah. Or based on the movie, cool. Tornadoes. Yeah. Which doesn't happen. Well, you'd actually get a lot of them on Mars. It's just yeah, you know, they're not that strong they because the atmosphere. Anything, their pressure's too low. The atmosphere doesn't work. Oh God, imagine putting a flag out on um <laughs> on Mars. Well, you, you know the the fl- flag on on the moon. Yeah, uh, fell it's over. Oh, it was right. white. It's pure white. It also fell over when they took off. <laughs> oh. <laughs> because because. <laughs> Because physics. Well, because yeah. physics, and they weren't allowed to go too far out from the capsule because they didn't know what would happen if they fell over on Mars and how the suits would work. Oh, Not Mars, moon. on the moon. Um, so they, they were sort of like, no, 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 just put it right next to the capsule. And uh, there's a, a photo f- op. Don't take any risks. Yeah. And then um, basically uh, what happened is there's a pic- there's a, a video of it basically falling over the second they, get, they take off. <laughs> True facts, America. And, and the American government tried to suppress it coming out because <laughs> it was bad stupid. for morale. Yeah. <laughs> it made them look stupid. Oh, Durin and Galen lend us their strength to help protect the Martian. Protect? From the witches that do anything to make sure their curses remain unbroken. Wait, but you did the curse. Yeah, and what about you? I'm an exception. Of course, she bloody hard. There's always they all, everyone's a bloody exception in these things. Yeah, she's Dritz Dwarden, basically. Yeah. <laughs> also, I'm good. You keep forgetting the good part because you haven't done anything that pr- proves that you are good. Now you just spied on a young woman and then. And then, you know, did spells that ruined her life. I mean, she was an arsehole, but still. Yeah. Remember, not all witches are evil. Just the vast majority of them, which we just told yeah. you about. Just Yes, remember, all, not all witches are evil. Just all of the ones that aren't player characters. Yes. Your curse is a test. Tickle. A test. Tickle. Stop Originally, the wicked were cursed so that they could learn to change. The curses were meant to teach them a lesson. I'm hoping your curse will teach you a lesson too, Ice Princess. German. <laughs> I'm only trying to help you. Yeah, that's what that's what that's what an unseelie <clears throat> player would tell everyone. Yes. I'm I just trying to help you. Could you give my skin back, please? <laughs> I don't need you to show me how to change. I just want my life back. Well, to do that, you'll have to break your curse. Mm. Oh, sorry, what was the noise? Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Try and make some friends, Princess. They might be able to help you break your curse. Well, they might not. <clears throat> oh, I'd love to hang around and watch the Princess try to be friendly. We have work to do, Dolora. Fine. Try not to make any more enemies, princess. Clunk. The instant Parfait and Delora leave the room, the temperature drops several degrees. Oh, they're a heat source. (coughs) Now that I am alone, I feel the cold stares return. Disgust. Contempt. Mild arousal. (laughs) As if I am the reason they are cursed and have to take refuge in the marshal in the first place. Well, you are pretty much the one percent embodied, so True. you know. Make friends. All I've ever had are my dolls. I never needed friends. 
I'll break this curse on my own. I was told it was rude to stare. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, someone in the game. <laughs> someone in the game understands irony. Either that or has no self awareness. Um, <laughs> One man suddenly stands up. I just want to. What I want to do is I want to put googly eyes on their faces. <laughs> One man suddenly stands up, the anger apparent on his face. His hands yeah. clench and unclench into fists as he glares at me pointedly. Urian and Garland place themselves in front of me, shielding me from the man. Oh, yeah, this is the guy, isn't it? Yeah. The fact that she's got her mouth open, she's above his name. Uh, and the, again, the colours match her. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, you know the rules. What happened in the past stays in the past. Yeah. No one is allowed to harm anyone else in the Martian. Yeah. If you cannot comply, you are no longer welcome here. No, coming. I don't understand why people are so angry at her. Yeah, well, she... she's actually well, yeah, done not nothing her. to them. Yeah, but being actually aggressive towards her is something else. Kind of. Oh, she's a tosser, isn't she? Yeah. Yeah. Spoiled little rich kid. Uh, yeah. Not. I want to beat her face in. Mm. He throws one last scare in my way before sitting down again. <laughs> Do you want to throw it back so you can, you know, at least have one? Yeah, break the rules and you're getting what's coming to you. Yeah, I got for everyone here. Yeah. Julia's tone is cold and firm. There's no doubt she meet. Huh? What? Oh. Oh. Okay. okay. Fuck it, we're doing it this way. There's okay. no doubt he means what he says. So these are the great knights of the Order of Caldera. Yeah. The march begins to settle down and everyone goes back to their conversations and meals. I walk towards the empty table, realise that I'm being deliberately ignored. Become immersed in my thoughts as I sit down. One thought. <laughs> no! I can't deal with that for another hour! One thought, however, comes to me immediately. <laughs> they hate corpse. <laughs> they hate corpse somehow when I've only ever left the palace twice in his life. How did this happen? Well, your mother was a twat and you've been and a, twat. a twat. And she was probably a magical twat who mm. twatted harder than anyone else. Yes. The only people who treated me with any respect were Anise, Durian and Garland. Is it because they cannot remember who I am? But Maybe. they can. Yes. Oh, good. As in, th no, I'm confused. They remember. They don't remember who she is. Oh right. Okay. Because they're not cursed. And no one's bothered telling them. No. Maybe being in the march is not such a good idea. I doubt anyone here wants me to help to help me break my curse. They'd probably rather see me suffer under its weight. Weight of not being massively rich. Three good deeds. How am I supposed to complete three when I do not know if I can even accomplish one? Yeah, could you pass us out? Yeah, sure. <laughs> oh, well, hello. Oh, she was she was the Russian. Well, generic foreign. May yeah. I join you? I look up and stare in shock as the beautiful lady from the toy shop. Her beauty still manages to take my breath away. Eh. No. What is she doing here? You... You were in the toy shop. Ah, yes. I was picking up some items for a friend. I am humbled you still remember me. Oh, God, her mouth. It looks like she's licking her lips. Yeah. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Miss Karma. Oh, so you're a bitch. Yes. Your name is Karma. Does she blend in easily? A, a suitable name for someone as beautiful as me, no? Amber, she's wearing red, gold and green. <laughs> Come a come a chameleon. <laughs> red, gold, and green. Red, gold, and green. If you weren't alive in the 70s. 80s. Uh, close enough. <laughs> Everyone just suddenly has some kind of horrible herniated poo. <laughs> or something. 
Oh, it's Half Glove. Oh, God, I can't remember this twonk's name. What's Calm Wilkes? your narcissist and start to scare Princess Ray. Because he looks like a pretentious git. He does. Oh, you are that magician boy. Boy. <laughs> How appropriate. A boy. Come at one more time. I'll ruin the plate face for all. Mm. You would hit a lady? How savage. <laughs> anyway, I'm Walter Creswell. I have Neverland curse. I never gr- I never age. Terrible. Yeah, that oh, sounds like a curse. What's your fairy tale curse? Does that mean he can fly if he thinks it's a happy thought? I mean, it's fairy Possibly. dust, so does yeah. he have to go on? How about that's not in the... Are any of these, fa- apart from hers, are any of these tales actually in the Brothers Grimm that they're mentioning? Probably not. Jesus Christ. <laughs> but she, he only, if he gets fairy dust, can he fly? Which presumably means, um, I don't know, we have to wait we for... We have to wave them. Um... Well, Parfait has to get dandruff. <laughs> does everyone share what their curse is? We talk about really in the miles of... No point in having these half bread curses, half the wall. Hard to do that if you keep off fairy tales quiet. He pauses, then narrows his eyes slightly. Well, some people keep their fairy tales a sneak crowd. He eyes calmer briefly, cocking an eyebrow. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, that, that was even bad for me. <laughs> The smile never leaves Karma's face. Has anyone managed to break their curse? I've been told a few hard. A few? That's not very reassuring. No, it isn't, Kitty. Well, at least the curse is calm, but Br'er calm. I cannot particularly say that reassures me either. What ails you, darling? Is it your curse? You can talk to us about it. Tell us what it is. <sighs> Cinderella. Cinderella fucking Rella. Oh, goodness. Cinderella. Oh, you're being beaten and had all your stuff <coughs> taken from you and you have to sleep on a pile of cinders, which is where you get the name from. Mm-hmm. Looks incredibly clean clothing she's got. I don't think the curse is quite working as intended. <laughs> Like no one's beaten you and made you do horrible things yet. I'll get me stick. comes on cars, and it's been vast, thousands of years. Reaches to rags, Kitty. You're not helping. Well, she started off. Cinderella started off well off. Yeah, that's true. A well phrased sentence. Um, and then you know, stepsisters and stepmother come in, and she basically has to live in a bin. So mm. that's one way of putting it. Calm, you're not helping. You really are bad off ignoring it. Oh, yeah, I figured that. Oh, ignoring him, princess. He speaks mostly nonsense. We well, have yeah, met a pretty redhead person before, but um, who was a dude. Yes, we did. Uh, well, yeah. portrayed as a dude. <laughs> now, Matt, it's the same character, but in sunglasses, but 80 sunglasses. <laughs> He... And they say they say cowabunga a lot. So what the hell curse is that then? I don't think that is a curse. I think they just like being a dude, or being a woman. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Gives yeah, a shit. It's just, it's just kind of. You, you, it just seems a bit of a non sequitur and completely irrelevant to the plot if yeah. it's not a curse. And however, if it is a curse, what however, the hell story. However, okay. Well, yeah. Even if they just wanted to be a woman and it's not a curse. Yeah. He's a dick for not using she. Yeah. Who's he to out her? That is very, very true. To be honest, I hadn't thought about it because when I was reading it, I thought they'd just fucked up the text. Yeah. Well, that seems reasonable. So, <laughs> it's just, my first assumption is the program is a bad. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a bit mean because the yeah. programs have done all right. I mean, the art team is bloody good. The art team is bloody brilliant, particularly back- background artists. Yeah. Well done, background artists. Look at that dartboard. 
That, yeah. That's a classic dartboard, that is. Classic. You, God, there's you an ashtray good... on that table. Yeah. <laughs> there's actually an ashtray. <laughs> it's a very modern pub. It, it, yeah, it's one of the... It's basically... It as well, it's a gastro pub, isn't it? Yeah, it is a gastro pub. That's where I was going with that as well. Which is fine. I mean, yeah. It's kind of a Victorian-ish setting, so... Yeah, you know. it'll work. Anyway... I mean, let, let's be honest, Waltz isn't the most... Med- He's a fairly modern-looking chap. Yes. Also, I kind of... When, when I, was, I wasn't surprised by this, because I always went... That's a fairly mannish looking woman at that yeah. point. Because look at the chin. Yeah. Those chins are generally only on blokes. Also, using the cravat um, for the chest, actually quite clever. Yes, very clever. Princess. No. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm going, to inv- I'm going to barge into your conversation. Hello. Parfait's voice takes me by surprise. And courts, apparently. Hadn't even noticed, noticed her entering the room again. He left. May I speak with you? No. Good background. Oh. Nice. Nicely done. The pub. Nice. I'd like you to meet someone, though I'm sure you already know him quite well. Uh, It's the changeling. Rod. (laughs) Is it so... Are you? Is there you really are, cursed? The voice is coming from the bunny, right? Cause yes, that, I think so. I think that's the idea. He's basically a ventriloquist who's a twat. Yes. Um, I mean, it could be due to some kind of mental problem, you know, social mental problem sort of things. Could be. But I'm just an assumed twat at this point in this game, so. Yeah. I was the one that gave Sebi to Rod, so he still had some way to voice his opinions. Sebi. Sebe. Short for Sebastian. It's cute, isn't it? No. Oh, shit. Nothing, princess. <laughs> Sebi's voice changes <laughs> when he greets me. I'm assuming he's voicing Rod's in a monologue. Hello. <laughs> the tone it uses is lower whenever it speaks for Rod. Perhaps that's what Rod's voice actually sounds like. Oh, so it's meant to be high and squeaky when it's a sweet toy, but then it does a lower voice. Mm. Well, I'm doing it my way. <laughs> Wait, if he remembers me, does that mean... What? Oh, oh this is the rod now, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So, the mermaid's curse. Oh, lost voice to get legs. Yes. Oh. So, was he in a wheelchair previously, presumably? Possibly. What? Wait a minute. Why do you have to bother with the curse then if you've got a fucking thing that talks for you, right? You, you, <laughs> it's basically just one. <laughs> you know, gonna... Well, yes. <laughs> that is my curse. Uh, Rod has been mute this all this time because he's curt. I just thought he was defective. That is her opinions, not mine. That was. Yeah. That was. I want to put that around. Do well, not think the you voice. Defective. Do not think that. It's her. I was doing a character because she's a sensitive prick. <laughs> <laughs> is, to be honest, that's my default assumption for all these characters. So, uh, yeah. And for everyone else ever. Does everyone else know? Obviously. They are my family. Even. The king. He knows as well. So I'm the only one you never told. How dare you? Not you that I... A wanker. <laughs> I didn't think you'd particularly care either way. Well, no, I would have outed you to the public and had them dem- demonise you. Yeah. <laughs> he is not wrong. Yet, I cannot believe I didn't know. Neither can I, because I assumed he was cursed anyway. Yeah, well, we thought it was a changeling, so this is a bit of a downgrade, really. Yeah, really, yeah. Oh, oh it's a curse. That's boring. <laughs> I was left out once again. What are you doing here? I've been trying to help Rod with his curse. That is why he comes to the Martian from time to time. But I don't even want... <gasps> <laughs> Anyway, 
I only came here today to confirm that you were truly cursed. I wanted to see it with my own eyes. It was a big surprise when I woke up one day and you weren't in the palace. An even bigger surprise when I found out no one remembered you. It's been days since I was cursed. I wonder, how are things in the palace? Pretty much the same. Yeah. Livelier. Happier. H happier? I've never seen my family happier than they are now. I'd say it's a good thing that you aren't a princess anymore. I always thought Rod didn't really care about me, but regardless, but, uh, but is this the truth? Well, yes, obviously, because you're a dick. Um, dot, 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 so this is how you truly feel. Or... <laughs> Let's go for... <laughs> <laughs> you hate me. That's not... <laughs> That's different. To... <laughs> yeah, that's a completely different statement. This is working out by Fallout 4 logic. Yeah. Oh, should I say hello or fuck you? I'll click hello. I'm going to burn your house. <laughs> what I meant. <laughs> you have no right to start acting the victim now. You know you are of... technically speaking a victim. It's kind of the rules of the thing. Not when you've treated my family with such disrespect. Mm. The only oh. reason I didn't say something before is because you Apparently knew. he's purple, but we made the right what? choice. Hey! Uh, I go. For, <laughs> yeah, right choice to date Rod. Ugh. Let's not so, do that. <laughs> so, when he finishes, is it does he make noises or the doll? I think the doll. <laughs> and the doll's sat on a shelf watching. Yes. Because it's a separate being, so, you know. Mm. Yes. <laughs> The only reason I didn't say anything before is because I didn't want me to. And I'm, I was mute, so you know. I'm happier too now that you're gone. Since you've been gone, since you've been gone, my life is so much better. <laughs> I don't have to pretend to like you anymore. You weren't trying very hard. No. Um... <laughs> I'm going to return to the palace now. Mm. <laughs> he just disappears. I'm gone and they're all happier. Your very existence has been raised in the palace. They've never known you. That doesn't mean they're happy without you. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it it's does, yeah. yeah. That's how that works. Even the king. What did I expect? Why did you bring me here? The people in Martian, they are a bunch of assholes. Even worse than me. I I shouldn't have left you alone in there. I'm sorry. You knew how they felt about me, your penis. <laughs> <laughs> what have I ever done to them? <laughs> now isn't the right time to explain when it would be useful and you're ready there's, to hear the no truth. There's no time to explain when we're sat here quietly talking. Mm. When will it ever be the right time? Oh. So many things have already happened to you. I need you to be patient, Henry Punk. <laughs> Is the princess already left? Oh, princess, sorry. So I was just talking about the princess. So. Yes, this is fine. Yes, yes, he has. Princess you disappeared. We'll talk about this later, but for now you must focus on breaking your curse. Basically, don't be a wanker. Don't know how. <laughs> I can't do that every time. Uh, everyone's been struck down with the herniated goblin curse as well. <laughs> it's it's go oh, the goblin constipation curse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did I miss something? No. Right. Can't do that one either. Maybe the fairy is right. I don't think I'm ready to find out how I made so many people hate me. Existing. That's pretty much how you've done That's it. That's pretty much it. Well, Parfait. 
I think it's time to get down to business. What should we do with her? What are you talking about now? It's not going to involve a black sofa or something, is it? Just... <laughs> you, of course, you've got nowhere to go, right? I don't get the feeling this curse is just a, a vehicle for um, enslaving her. Uh, she is right. Well, it's a really roundabout way to get more people to work in the pub. Yeah. <laughs> I think back to the days when I, spe I spent on the streets and shiver. I'll do anything so long as I don't have to go back there. What, the outside? Yeah. The princess can stay at the Martian with me and the rest of my boarders. Hmm? I'd almost forgotten what hope felt like. But you have to work to an exchange for a room. I celebrated too soon. What? Then I'll be a brothel. Yeah. Ah, that makes more sense now. Yeah, Magic has everything a... suddenly makes more sense. Magic has its limitations, just like anything else. Money doesn't appear out of thin air, not even for a fairy. Yeah, it does. There's a whole there's a whole thing about it about fairies about fairy gold. I mean, it disappears in twenty four hours, but you know, it it does literally appear out of thin air. The Martian doesn't attract many customers, since only the cursed <laughs> and a few others can enter. Since no one's allowed here, we can't sell much stuff. I sell my potions here <laughs> and there, but I have several hungry mouths to feed, and my funds are tight. So I just imagine that she had some kind of. I've got my, my mind went to fairy children, and then for some reason that went to sort of kind of bird people in a little nest going pee 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 pee. <laughs> I thought fairies lived in luxury. Parfait, are you broke? Ouch. Even the ice princess can tell. And yet you still take people in. That's always been how Parfait operates. She's a good na she's good nature to a fault. I'm told suffocating beneath my debt will be what kills me. A fairy bit. Hey, right. Anyway. Anyway, why don't you just leave? I assume you take make enough to take care of yourself. Leave someone who's needing help. I could never. And that princess is how. Oh no, that's you. And that princess. It's how goodness works. How goodness works. It's not as if I accept freeloaders. All my boarders must help me run the Martian and do errands. The princess has never worked a day in her life. I doubt she'll be useful. If karma can be useful, anyone can. Red, gold and green. <laughs> Come, 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 chameleon. <laughs> 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 hmm, I've yet to see Karma be anything but useless. Mm. She went and picked some stuff from the shop up, up from the shop once. Yep. Nice. Princess, you're more than welcome to stay if you're willing to help out. It's the least you can do in exchange for a roof over your head and three meals a day. Oh, and shoes. Mm. Do I even have a choice? Well, you do. Nope. It's not a gr it's not a great <laughs> choice. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty terrible choice to the point where it's not really a choice. Yeah. I mean, as far as we can tell, you can always leave later. Mm. I mean... Yeah, you just won't yeah. be able to find your way back. It's fine. Yeah. I toss and turn in bed, unable to fall asleep. The mattress is hard and the sheets are itchy. Nothing at all like the bed I had in the palace. Wah, wah, wah. What I would give for my old bed again. For any of the comforts of home. I miss my dolls. One of them's downstairs. Lady Parfait. Parfait. Lady Parfait. Parfait. I sit up immediately. That's not my name. How dare you? What is going on? I leave my room to investigate. Ooh, what, is it the prince investigating? Or... I don't know. Some of the other Martian boarders, Waltz, Durian and Garland, are sitting on the settee looking <laughs> anxious. <laughs> it's Martian boarders. Just being the... Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Ooh la. Ooh la. 
Nile, nile, Oh, we should just do our own verbal version of the War of the Worlds. <laughs> What's happening? Oh man, since I'm gonna, try, uh, since I've gotten into a course for theatre design, I wonder if we'll get to do anything like that. So I'll get to play around with a theremin. Oh God. That's Sorry, a musical did... instrument that looks like a brick with a wire coming out the top. Yes, yes, it does. Because that's basically what it is. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, it's uh, Julian. Yes. Do you want me to yeah. do this? No, that's all right. Yeah, you ain't wake you up. No, but the Moises Garland was making would have woken the dead. Yeah, that's necromancy, mate. Yeah. Jordan and I have found an injured man while we were out doing our rounds, and we brought him here. An injured man? Wait, what were you doing outside? It's almost one in the morning. <laughs> yeah, nothing you need worry about, nothing shifty like that. Nee. <laughs> In the poor thing, all news. Tend to my law. These people will help. Anyone they find on the streets? What if this man is dangerous? Well, they've got, you know, powerful magic. So, mm -hmm. don't think the witch has got to him. It's possible. We have to find out when he wakes up, innit? Really. Yeah. Or we'll just go for his pockets. <laughs> Can I just point out, this changes for day and night. Does it? Yep. Oh, I hadn't noticed. Cool. Hang on, hang on. Oh, there's a tiny parcel Look. on them. Look. Oh, yeah. Lanterns and everything. My God. People There's... actually care. I don't know. <laughs> I, don't know. I feel like we've we've come into an alternate alternate yeah. world. Yeah, clear, clear. There's a pretty little parcel on the mantelpiece as well, which is quite nice. Very cute. I just like that. Yoink. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, tired. The next day, Parfait reveals that the man only suffered minor head injuries. She says that she expects him to wake soon. I look at the tray of food in my hands. Anise has asked me to bring it up to the stranger's room while she finishes the rest of her cooking. Casey okay, so wakes up and is a murderer. Mm. I would have never been asked to do this in the palace. Goodness. What's the poor tray done to deserve that look? Mm. I must say it's odd to see the princess doing something nice for someone. What do you want? I have something to ask the man that was brought in last night. Seeing as you have been good enough to deliver breakfast, I thought I'd just tag along with you. Or if he's a murderer, I can zot him. <laughs> if you're going, just bring this tray up yourself. You are not in any position to delegate your duties to me, Miss Henry Punk. Come on, our guest must be famished. Seeing no way out, I followed Dolores to the spare room the man had been put in. Out of the infinite number of rooms this place has. Shaman. Okay. Bum, bum, bum. Hang on, is that check being draped correctly? Well, it actually, you know, follows the fabric this time, which is the first time ever. Um, Doesn't follow the folds. No, but it's better. It's better. I'm not expecting perfection. Just an acknowledgement that such things exist is a, <laughs> is a good start. I thought the man would have been old, but to my surprise he looks like young. Probably in his early 20s. About marriage age. <laughs> he seems lost in reverie as he stares at a small notebook. Oh, I'm, I'm deep and then I, I have very deep thoughts and I feel feelings. Oh, look at me as I toss my hair in the sunlight. <laughs> good morning. Good to see you're awake and breathing. The man looks up at her when she speaks. The instant he sees us, his eyes widen. Women! <laughs> Why is he staring at us like that? Does he have uh, the misogynist's curse? Am I dead? Do you feel dead? Dead. Yes, I did. What? Can make an angel line, isn't he? Yeah. Oh, God. I'm in heaven, or maybe. Um, My eyes are on fire. Help. Please help. 
This, this is quite painful. Please help me. <laughs> um, some assistance would be appreciated. You all two are angels that have fallen out of it. Can we just throw them out the window now? The wanker's cursed. Yeah, uh, the wanker's cursed. I see. What could I... <laughs> Hey, what could a humble gentleman like myself do for you lovely ladies? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Wink. You see, I'm doing a wink there. Oh, it's just chance. Ah, you could join me on this bed, because I'm subtle, you see. I'm very subtle, zips trousers. Um, it's very comfortable. There's plenty of room for the both of you. Not me, though. It's only a double bed. I'll sit on the floor. I'll follow your lead on this one, princess. Run away. Stranger danger. Stranger danger. <laughs> Princess, of course, such a beautiful lady would only be a princess. Nah, yes. Look at the noble way you hold up the tray. <laughs> I think we know what's got to happen. <laughs> what a wanker. What a twat. <laughs> throw the what tray at him. Do you see his face? <laughs> what a twat. Can I throw the tray at him? Oh, I like the fact that she said it first. Yes. <laughs> I'm tempted to let you. I just well, no, but still my beating heart. And but, but when I did mention my eyes were on fire, yes. Um, <laughs> it's a continuing problem. It didn't happen before I came uh, here. Okay, apparently that was the right choice indicator. Let's go. Can, can I just can we just assault him? Yes. Uh, <laughs> hmm. You. Oh, he's awake. Don't touch him. You might catch something. <laughs> Just surprised at that point. <laughs> Another lovely lady has entered my chambers. Oh, this is wonderful, yes. I don't think my heart can handle the perfection of three or two at once. My penis might be able to, but we'll see. <laughs> no, yes. I think I know how Casanova here got those head injuries. Some lady decided she'd had enough of his rubbish and wanted to punish him. Delora, patience. He may not even be in the right state of mind right now. Ever. He did take injuries to the head after all. The man Dominic, finally... Don't with magic. Oh. man finally stops just to look at me. He narrows his eyes and stares so hard, I almost want to slap him. What? You're familiar. You have bumped into this twonk before. But have no! You? It's impossible. I don't remember jumping into him. It's a split second. Mm. How do you the crown, princess? What are you doing here? Mm. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> if he knows, then he's... Fucked! Well, he's definitely not a witch or a fairy. This can only mean one thing if he recognises Elsa. <laughs> what is your name, good sir? It's an unusual name. Mm. I haven't answered any questions you ask of me, madam, but... <laughs> but... The man looks down at the notebook in his hand. It just says, question mark. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. And for some reason it wasn't in their notebook, because obviously everyone repeatedly writes their name in their notebook. That's just what mm. they're for, yes? Amnesia. I know everything about London, and yet, I don't know the first thing about myself. Except I have the Rumpelstiltskin curse. What? Okay. Um, That's what? not how that works. I don't rem what? I was about to say I don't remember anything about this, and I thought, no! Nah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Rumpelstiltskin was the guy that spun straw uh, into gold. Yeah. And then... If you can guess my name. Yeah. Which she technically didn't because she just followed him and then listened to him um, dancing around a fire, making a dick out of himself. <laughs> that That is the succinct version of that tale, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Rumpelstiltskin, is that a fairy tale? I know it. I knew it. He's got the fairy tale curse. Fairy tale curse? Do you remember how to break it? Hammers! 
<laughs> From what I remember, I need to somehow collect three memories, for some reason, and get them to appear in this journal's entries. I have no idea what this has to do with Rumpelstiltskin. I, I think it was just a filing system error that ended up in the name. Here's the book, by the way. It looks like a book. He shows us the notebook he's holding on to since we entered the room. All I have to do is remember three things that are relevant. You see? My first memory is, wake, is way of waking up holding this black book with the word Death Note written on the front. <laughs> it's red names in it or something. I thought there'd be information here, but it's empty. And I don't have a pen. Another it's a thing bit of arse, really. How about way, you know if it is a death note, if you write in pencil and then rub out the name, what happens? <laughs> and what happens if you use Tipex? Does, does, that, does, does it really matter? I mean, it's just you're writing over a name then, I suppose. It's just getting more space, really. It's like when you get your pages in. I wonder if you can do that. <clears throat> just slice in more pages. Have less of a notebook and more of a, uh, I don't know, an almanac, you see. You must be tired. After all that stupidity. Henry <laughs> Ponk will leave your breakfast here and we'll give you some time to yourself. Please thank fuck for that. <laughs> we'll give you some time to yourself. Now we're going to leave and never let, never talk to you again. We'll be outside if you need anything else. <laughs> <laughs> Don't touch me. Rumple still skin. It's a fun word to say. It is, I like it. What's that fairy tale about? Well Rumple Stilt skin sounds like a term for a penis. It <laughs> <laughs> Delora does not do a good job of hiding her laughter. She snorts and I cross my arm, embarrassed. Mother Bird. Well, well ten, I have had some theories that it's actually meant to be an allegory for um, female masturbation, but um, I can't remember the reasoning behind it. Okay. Mother burned all the fairy tales in the palace before I got the chance to read all of them. Go and buy another fucking book then. <clears throat> fine, fine. I'll keep it short. Once upon a time... There, no, the what? Right. Okay. Uh, no. um, there was a girl that was said to be able to spin straw into gold. The king found her and locked her up in a tower. Just, mm, no. No. Um, he said he wouldn't let her out again until she turned all the straw in the room into gold overnight, so she, otherwise she gets stabbed. That was um, part yeah. of it. But the girl was just a regular human girl. Racist. Uh, she knew she would never be able to turn the straw into gold and feared that she would be locked up forever until she was stabbed the following day. <laughs> <laughs> it was then that an odd little man appeared before her and, oh, yeah. Hello. <laughs> and offered to do the job for her if she gave him something in return. Okay. The girl gave him her necklace, and the man spent the night, the rest of the night, spinning the straw into gold. However, the girl wasn't released. The second night, she was given more straw to spin because the king wasn't an idiot, and the <laughs> little man appeared once more. This time, she gave him her ring. This is not a euphemism. On the third night, but by the way, also the amount of stuff straw increased every night. Uh, because of course it did. Mm -hmm. The king ordered her to spin the straw one last time, and if she did, she'd be released and made his queen, so he could be forever wealthy, <laughs> and had a bed made of gold, which would be fucking uncomfortable. Yes. Mm. However, that night the girl had nothing left to give the little old man, so they made an agreement. Zip. <laughs> He would spin the straw into gold for her, so long as she gave him her first child. Um. I personally never understood why the girl would want to marry the king in the first place. Well, he lives in a cupboard. Okay. Well, Hush, I'm trying to tell a story here. Also, why she would... Well, the other choice is or death. Yeah. It's not really a, a difficult thought. Do you want to marry me? Well, I'm not sure. I do have a big stick. Is that a euphemism? For... No, I'll just beat you to death. Okay. Years passed and the queen finally gave birth to her first child. That night, the odd little man returned and demanded his due, but the queen didn't want to give up her child. 
The man then said he wouldn't take the child if the Queen was able to guess his name in three days. The man's name was Rumpel Stilt Skin. Did she guess it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The night before her time was officially <laughs> up, the Queen was drawn to the forest by the sound of a little voice. I'm going to tell you my name. I'm going to tell you my name. La, 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 la. She saw the little man celebrating his upcoming victory, singing about her nobody had or ever would guess his real name, which was Rumpel Stilt Skin. He doesn't sound particularly smart. No. So agrees the general populace. Sometimes I wonder how Hans was able to come up with such tall tales. He didn't. He copied on other people's. Mm. That's, that's what they did. Well, the Martian is opening soon. I expect another busy day of not many people. Premier. This is it's the premiere, is it? It's only just coming on screen around here. <laughs> Especially busy for you, Henry Bunk. You need to start coming up with good deeds. Mm. Mm. <laughs> the amnesiac Casanova was allowed to stay at the Martian with the other boarders, and you know I think what that I think didn't explain why the fuck he has to have three memories in the notebook. Yeah, how it's even fucking relevant. Yeah. Anyway, I think we should probably call it an episode there. Yeah. So we'll we'll pick this up next week and uh see you later. Willies. <laughs>